Hey guys, and welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to build my working bathtub. Now, before you say it, yes, this thing is very useless, just like my working shower stall and just like my working toilet. However, I just like building these things because I just like working things. So now, if you want to, you can have a whole entire working bathroom. So if we click this wooden button back here, our bathtub will fill up with water and then it closes back up. So now, see, now you're in a nice little bathtub, you know, getting cleaned and whatnot. And then when you're ready to get out of your bathtub, you just click this button and it drains the water <laughs> I, I know it's very stupid guys but now you can make a whole working bathroom if you want to know how to build my working toilet and my working shower stall i'll have those a link in the description below for those so let's just start building this thing guys here's an open view of it and yes it's a very big waste of resources but honestly if you're building this thing on survival then you've probably already got a lot of resources because why are you building things that need to work on survival that have no function whatsoever so let's just get this stuff out okay we're gonna need 12 sticky pistons five redstone repeaters a handful of redstone dust 10 redstone torches now we need a wooden button for this one we need a wooden button so if you don't want a stone button and you just want two wooden buttons go right ahead however i think it looks really cool with the wooden and the stone button there i don't know why i just think it looks nice also, we're going to need a lever or a hook. It doesn't really matter. We just need a lever or a tripwire hook. And we're going to need a bucket of water. And we're also going to need some blocks of choice. Now, I'm going to be using quartz for my bathtub because it looks like a bathtub with quartz. I don't. <laughs> Bathtubs are usually white porcelain, but you could choose whatever you want. And I'm going to be using smooth stone for my walling. So let me take out my, I guess I'll use my uh, bathtub block right now and lime wool. So let's just start building this thing, guys. So for this build, we're going to need a eight by five spacing. We're also going to have to dig down three. So once you've gotten that done, go to the bottom left-hand corner, and then we're going to count over five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to count up two blocks. So one and two. And we're going to make a two by three right here. So just go like this, three. And then right up here, three. And there's our two by three. And then we're just going to put sticky pistons all along the tops of these blocks. Then take out your block of choice for your bathtub and put these blocks all along the bottom. That's going to be the bottom of your bathtub. See? The bottom right there. Next, what we're going to do is delete the first three blocks right next to these three sticky pistons. So one, two, three like that. And then the back right one, we're going to delete this block as well. But we're going to leave these two right here because we need to get uh, power to these two inner pistons. That's why when it closes, it kind of looks weird. But that's the only way I could get the power to it. And then next, we're going to put two repeaters going into those back two blocks like that. And then put dust right back here, connecting those two repeaters together. And then we're going to come back to that later. We're going to come back to our bathtub later. We want to get the walling in first that lets the water through. So what we're going to do is take out our sticky pistons again and put a row of sticky pistons around the sides of our back two blocks right here. So go right around the side. One, two, like that. Next to these sticky pistons. And then bring another row of them going all the way down here. So like this. Boop, like that. Next, what we're going to do is take out our block that we're going to be putting our redstone down on and literally just go around down, come down one block and go around the outside of these sticky pistons. So just go around the whole outside of them and then put dust up next to all of them, like that. Next, what we're going to do is take out our torches and right underneath these sticky pistons coming off this block right here, we're going to put torches. So put one, two, three, four. This will make all these sticky pistons extend up. And then right for these two right here, we're just going to put two torches right here. So one, two, like that. So now all these sticky pistons should be extended up. Next, you're going to take out your bathtub block again and literally just bring it around all the tops of those sticky pistons. And then you know what you could do? You could bring it all the way around if you really want to. Just bring it all the way around and that will make our bathtub. Next, what we're actually going to do is take out our wall block now. So you know what? Uh, we Let me get rid of the lever for now. So take out your wall block and literally just bring your wall block around the back side of your bathtub like that. All right, guys, so now we're going to put our buttons in. So you're going to put a wooden button right here at the back, and then we're going to put a stone button right next to it. Now, you don't have to have this. This could be wooden if you want to, but the back one has to be wooden because we need that longer delay. We need that longer pulse. So next, what we're going to actually do is put our water in. So to put our water in, all we're going to do is take out our blocks of choice again, because you will be able to see these blocks and put them along all the tops of this dust. So just put it all the way around the top of the dust like that. And then like we did with our bathtub, just literally make another row of blocks of choice going around the outsides of these blocks. So just go all the way around the outsides of them. Like that. Next, what we're going to do is take out our water bucket. Now, of course, if you're doing this on survival, you are obviously going to make a water source. So you don't have to keep like getting major amounts of buckets of water. Just make a water source. And then literally what you're going to have to do is fill in every one of these blocks with water. So just put blocks of water in and like that. There we go. Just make sure they see make sure it's not flowing make sure everything is nice and still 
Then coming off our wooden button right here, we're gonna put a torch on the back side of it. So if I click the wooden button, the torch goes off. Put dust coming out of the torch, the dust should come on. Then come down off the dust with the block, with the uh, come off the block with the dust on it and put a torch here. The torch should go off because this dust is on. Then come two blocks down from this off torch. So right off the off torch, come down two blocks, one, two. Delete this block and then come a block out to the left and put dust down on both of these blocks. Then what we're gonna do is come down one more block right here and put repeaters coming out of these blocks with the dust on them like this. So put the repeaters coming out of them, going into this dust and set this one to one tick and set this one to four tick select. So now if we click this button up here, our bathtub should fill up. So we click the button and our bathtub fills up. Beautiful, now we just have to make it so it empties. So off our wooden button, we're gonna put another torch and then we're gonna bring dust to the left, well, to the right of it actually. It looks like to the left from this side, but come to the right of the dust like this with more dust. Put a torch coming off this block. Do the same thing we did over there. Come down two blocks, one, two. Then what we're gonna do is bring down our block three. So one, two, three, and bring dust all along these blocks. Then we're gonna come down a block and we're gonna put a repeater going this way out of the dust set to one tick delay. Put a block in front of it and wrap it around all these pistons right here like that, and then put dust all along them. Now we're not done yet. Right here where this repeater is going into this block with the dust on it, we're gonna come over here. Let me get rid of this. We're gonna come over here, and as you can see, there's dust going into this block, which we cannot have. We cannot have that going like this into this block with the with the repeater on that side or it'll ruin everything. So what I like to do is I usually like to just put a block right next to it and put a repeater, I mean, put a uh, lever or a hook here. This is why we need a lever or a hook, see? Now it'll reroute the power to over here, but do not click the lever, just leave it there. That's all it does is just reroute the dust right here so it doesn't go into this block. So we should be done now. So if I click this button over here, it should empty the bathtub. And if I click it, it should fill up the bathtub. And there you guys go. That's how you build my working bathtub. I, like I said, I know it's useless and stupid, but it's just nice to have everything working in your house. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.